The digital revolution is already here. If you're thinking about getting an impression system, what are you waiting for? Now is the time. I spoke with Dr. Edmund Su to figure out what criteria he looks for and how to make sure that it's going to be a successful integration into his practice. Spoiler alert, it's the rest of your team, it's your dental assistants that are going to make this work. So digital impressions are about a lot more than offices that are doing CAD CAM, yeah. right? You can just invest in the digital impression technology and do so much of it. What are you doing? It's, it's interesting. Day. If you asked me, man, 10, 11 years ago, almost 11 years ago, would I have thought this industry would have gone digital in the next 10 years? I'd have been like, absolutely no. For as resistant as we are to change, it is unbelievable the amount of people right now that we're witnessing that are going into digital. And you know, reality is, is we're not even on the wave or the precipice. I mean, we, the wave has crashed. I mean, we, we, this industry has gone fully digital. So it's, it's one thing, I think it's almost too narrow-sided now just to even look at a digital, digital dentistry just being impressioning. Like, I think that portion is just the entry point now. I think once you understand the power of what digital dentistry can do, I think you'll understand that the reason why so many of us have gone beyond just strictly taking an optical impression. So certainly there are dentists out there that are investing in the mills, they're milling themselves, but you would, I'm sure, say to, to folks that maybe aren't ready for that yet, that they can be using it for so many other things. What are you using it for on a daily Yeah, so we, we have the mill, and I've been milling for almost 11 years now, I guess, and you know, mill is intimidating in the beginning. I will tell you, it's intimidating because of past myths and the way systems were before, but in the same way that if you ask me what's, I mean, talk to me about cell phone technology 11, 12 years ago, it would be, it's, we're nowhere even in that same category right now. The, the technology has evolved so much. So I, I will say on the, on the milling side of it, it's more that people are scared of what, was, what happened in the past, not so much of what reality is today. Because reality is today is that I don't even do most of it in my office. My team runs the entire system in my office. So how did you make sure that they were going to actually adopt this technology, yeah. not just say, cool toy, man, uh, it's going to sit in the corner. You know, I think probably in the beginning, it was my willingness to simply say, you know what, are, are you, do you want part of it? And I think that for the assistants that don't want to just sit around and pretty much suck spit and be really good at making it temporary, I think the reason why most people leave dentistry is because of the lack of challenge. And I think what you have now is you have people, I have, I have people that were willing to want to at least look into the training portion of it and then it was my willingness probably just to let go and simply say, you know what, if you want, here it is, and this is what we're doing from now on. From now on, if, we're, if a patient's doing a single unit, we want to make sure that we mill those on a same day basis. So um, making a, more of a, uh, a stance that, you know what, this is where we're headed now as a practice and making it definitive from my point as a, as a dentist and as a leader of the practice probably makes that easier for me. So Climac has been in this business for a while, their latest generation scanner, the Emerald. Yeah. It's fast, it's great. Yeah. What features about it help you and help your team actually? Yeah, so let's, let's, let's refine that. So I've, I've had this for 11 years. I have probably scanned one restoration in the last six years. Um, so I don't scan, I don't do any of this stuff. So technology is great. But too often, like we go in there, and we start testing it, we use it, we think, we, you know, we try to figure out, can we do it, and is it gonna be difficult for us? That's not, it's the wrong question. The original scanner was, from 11 years ago, even though I refer to it as a typewriter compared to what we have today, was, was good enough that we made generations, I mean, restorations that were quick, efficient, they were clinically effective, and they were, and, and they were functional, as well as aesthetic. All this technology does now is it makes it easier for the new team member to jump in and say, you know what, Doc, I want to give it a shot. It's no longer a hurdle to go through, hey, let me go through an hour, two hour tutorial on how to scan. It's literally taking a, if you've operated an intro camera ever in your life, you just pretty much hold that there and you just, it's a video now. So what are the keys to having adoption from your team? I mean, it's gotta be fast, as few clicks as possible, yeah. integrating to, to existing software, right? So yeah. what are some of those features that have worked really well for you? I think, again, like, the, the easier everything is in terms of the workflow, the easier it is for your team. The easier it is for your team, the more willingness that there is from the entire office to be able to embrace technology and utilize it. If I look at the, probably one of the bigger faults for most people as they're looking at the technology is they look at everything in individual conduits. You know what, I want to get into digital dentistry, so let's look at the best scanner. 
So let's go out there and compare 10 scanners and figure out what the best one is. The problem is that every scanner has their little checklist of pros and checklist of cons, and they're all different. Then you go to your, well, I mean, there's a CT out there, so let's go check CTs. Let's go check which are the pros, which are the cons there. And you end up with this, a list of 20 different things, and everyone's telling you they have the best one, and you're trying to figure out how this all work. It's, I, I, I get it. I would be making the exact same mistake if I didn't witness and watch my own team utilize it and the reasons why they make their decisions. The, the most powerful thing that, my, that has drawn my team towards this system right now is that it's under one software platform. It's under one company. Tell me more about So that. I have an option right now that I have a Planmeca scanner right now, my Emerald, that is easy. My scanner, I happen to have a Pro Max. So because it's under one system and I have one software that I can utilize everything, it's incredibly powerful for me. Now, that said, what is the biggest, one of the biggest key points about this company that is different from some other companies, it's also wide open too. It's total open architecture. So, you know what, they come, I have and plenty of dentists have already purchased their CT unit. You know, they're like, yeah, I've already got a CT and it's whatever company. That's fine because all, it, as long as it you know, exports as the STL, you can import right in and into our Romexa software and now you, with our scanner, you can sit there and do everything you need to on that one piece of software. Truly anything. Yeah, and yeah. again, if it's easier for the team, and they don't have to keep going back and forth in different then different programs. It's it's going to be easier for them to implement it in the office. We got busy days. They're busy we're flipping rooms and trying to get patients in and holding to our schedule and holding to our timelines. If they've got to learn something and make things too difficult, they just want to implement it because they don't have time. It's not even sometimes because they don't want to. There's just not enough hours in the day to be able to train and go through that technology.